Welcome to the preliminary round draw for Backyard Brawl 7 this Saturday, June 29th at Shy Wolf Ball Park in York, Pennsylvania. This is the fourth MAW tournament of the 2024 season. We're um, going to go over the halfway mark of, this, of the regular, of the open tournament season this Saturday with uh, two tournaments remaining after this one. This is a 14-team tournament. Thanks for everyone that signed up. Um Thanks especially for, you know, th those teams that signed up late helped us get to, or that team that signed up late helped us get to 14 teams. Uh, that was a big help, so really appreciate that. This should be a really good one Saturday. Again, we're at, over the midway mark of the, of the season. Lots of jockeying for playoff spots, a few new teams. Um, all the contending teams are, you know, here. All, all the teams that are sitting in the top three spots, all the wild card teams. Um, and again, some new interesting teams as well. So it should be a really good one. We're going to start at 7.30 a.m. on Saturday. I know um, no one loves to hear that, but we're just trying to make sure that there's, you know, enough time to get through this, um, you know, without having to compress innings later in the day or having to compress extra innings later in the day. So 7.30 a.m. sharp um, for the first set of games. As always, we'll put up the... Um, you know, start times for the first round uh, later tonight. Uh, if you're a new team, expect to receive a text from Tim sometime tonight um, just with all the information you need. Um, you know, everyone else, if you have any questions, please text us. Again, we'll put the start times and the, all the matchups up right after this. Um, so this will be a normal MAW tournament in terms of, um, you know, the, the style of the tournament. It's going to be matrix pool play to begin with. So let's take a look at that. So 14 teams, each team will play three games. Here's the matrix here. You know, you can commit it to um, memory here. And then we'll go down, we'll go down here when we get ready to draw. We'll just fill in all the teams. All this stuff will fill in as well. And we'll walk through who every, uh, who everyone is playing um, after we're done with the draw. And again, we'll just draw an order. We'll just go down straight one through 14. We do if you're new. We do this matrix style, so no one gets stuck with a really really tough pull. Um, we do it, you know. We, yeah, that's that's the reason we do it. So so there's no like death pool or whatever. It's all just kind of spread out, no common opponents and all that stuff. Also, like usual, all two and one and three and O teams will advance to the playoffs. Um, so if you go two and one or three and O, you're at very least getting a playing game to the quarterfinals. Um, if not making the quarterfinals, if not making the semifinals. You go one and two and zero and zero and three. That that's your day. Um, the weather has improved a lot during this week, so we anticipate playing five inning games tomorrow. And we'll announce extra innings um, before the start of pool play, and then before the start of each playoff round, like usual. All right. So enough of me. Let's get to the draw. Whenever you're ready, Tim. All right, so team number one are the Maryland Horsemen, making their second tournament of 2024 after opening day. They will be playing in their first game. Earl. Earl sitting in the second spot right now in the point standings. If you want to see the point standings, head over to midatlanticwiffle.com. They're updated there. That was a little quick, Tim, on that spin. I wasn't ready. All right. Old line is team number three. If dragons are team number four, I'm killing myself. You know, it's the Stompers. It's the Stompers old line, game number one for those two teams. Oh, we're right between the two Ridley Park teams there. Long balls who are sitting in the third playoff spot, the final by the championship weekend they possess right now. Well, Frankie Campanelli this weekend, who will be returning for the first time since opening day. And they will be facing Jump Truck, who is our... Um, Last team, big thanks to those guys for being willing to play with uh, unfamiliar teammates and um, 
giving us a four team team to avoid having to do a four game prelim. Dragons are the seventh team. They will be playing in their first game. Shotgun, another new team out of um, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, not too far up the road. These guys play, these guys got their own league. They play, in, I think most of their players play in at least a couple of leagues. I know one of their players plays also an old line, so really looking forward to seeing them out. That'll be Dragon's first opponent. All right, next up is Las Vegas Whifflers making their second appearance of the season. This is a really streamlined Las Vegas Whifflers roster. It's um, Steve Trapeze, Jordan Bonet, um, Caden, and uh, making his um, um, Las Vegas Whifflers debut, Randy Dalby. The Dinos, who are off to a great start this season, really impressive start. They'll be a little shorthanded this weekend, but they're at team number nine. All right, the Blue Balls playing their third tournament of the season. This is our next team. They'll be a little shorthanded as well. But Greg Myers is expected to be out there, and it's always nice to see Greg pitch. The York Yaks. Next up here as team number 12. So it's the last two. We got Jugs and New School Risers. Okay, so that was that was juggernauts that didn't really seem to pop up there, but risers the only team left. All right, and risers are team number fourteen. Okay, so let's review the matchups real quick here. So again, these are prelim games. Every team plays three games, um, all unique schedules. You got to go two and one or three and zero, oh, and you're guaranteed to at least have a playing game into the quarterfinals. So. In other words, all two and one and three and zero teams make the playoffs. You go one and two and zero oh and three. Um, there's no chance in this tournament to, to make the playoffs. So we got Maryland Horsemen have Earl Shotgun and Dinos. That's a uh, yeah, obviously that Earl game is going to be tough, but um, that's a nice schedule for the Maryland Horsemen who are pretty well rested. They've been playing in the old line wiffle ball league, um, but have only had one MAW tournament this year. Earl's got the Horsemen, Long Balls, and Juggernauts. A, Really tough draw for Earl there. Old Line's got Stompers, Risers, and Dragons. Stompers have Old Line, Blue Balls, and Las Vegas Whifflers. Long Balls will play Jump Truck, making their MAW debut. Earl and York Yaks. Jump Truck has Long Balls, Dragons, and Risers. Dragons will play Shotgun, Jump Truck, and Old Line. Um, Shotgun's got Dragons, Horsemen, and Dinos. The Vegas, Las Vegas Whifflers have Dinos, Stompers, and Yaks. Dinos have Vegas Whifflers, Horsemen, Shotgun. Blue Balls will face the Yaks, the Stompers, and the Risers. The Yaks will face the Blue Balls, Long Balls, and Las Vegas Whifflers. So it's kind of a tough uh, tough draw for the Yaks, but they can definitely handle it too. Uh, Jugs have Risers, Old Line, and Earl. And then Risers have Juggernauts, Jump Truck, and Blue Balls. So again, the start time is 7.30 a.m. for the first round of games. And we'll post the um, what each team's starting time is um, sometime tonight and you know for all new teams again expect a text from tim with all the information you need uh any other teams you know please contact tim if you have any questions um or contact us on social media if you have tim's number contact him there um if you have a tent and you haven't contacted us yet and you're planning on bringing it tomorrow please do just to let us know you're bringing it what we're trying to do is just you know set up the tents at one location all day and if we get enough um, 
you know, no one's got to worry about carrying their tent around. You can just move to the tent that's there. So that's kind of what we're trying to do. So if you're bringing one, a canopy, um, I said tent, but again, not really tent, but a canopy, just let us know so we can kind of schedule that out. If not, when you get there tomorrow, um, just let us know before you set it up so we can kind of tell you where to set it up. Um, I think that's all. Did I miss anything, Tim? So, yeah, we'll see everyone bright and early at 7.30 a.m. You know, and again, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out, text him, or contact us on social.